Hello my friends, today we're going to be talking about an African weapon that can be found in both The Legend of Zelda and Castlevania. Now this video was actually originally part of another video that we have on our channel, but I decided to split it up because I think that they can both stand on their own. By all means, if you want to watch that video first, go ahead. If you want to watch this video first, that's fine too. It's not something that you have to watch in a specific order. Alrighty, so the second weapon I want to talk to you about today uh, is Breath of the Wild's Lizal Tri Boomerang, which of course is used by the Lizalfos. Now, this weapon, I knew immediately when I saw this thing, is based on a Central African throwing knife. Um, I even have a, a screenshot that I took from way back in the... Well, I shouldn't say way back, the game's not that old. But when the game first came out, I took a screenshot of that thing immediately. I'll put that on screen. Uh, and this thing, like I said, is a Central African throwing knife. Uh, this one in particular uh, is made by the Bungai people, uh, and that's according to uh, Yale University uh, on their website. Unfortunately, they don't say uh, what they what the Bungai people called it specifically, uh, other than you know a throwing knife. Uh, now some people uh, seem to call this a kapinga. And I think that's because, like a long time ago, the History Channel uh, called this thing a Nazande's Kapinga. The Nazande do make a throwing knife called the Kapinga. I'll put that on screen now. As you can see, that throwing knife is a bit different than this one, because it's made by different peoples. Um, so am I saying the History Channel is wrong? The same channel that says aliens created every damn thing on Earth? Yeah, I'm saying the History Channel is probably wrong because if I have a choice between believing Yale University and the History Channel, I'm gonna believe Yale University. Anyway, uh, these throwing knives uh, can be thrown in two different ways. Uh, they can be thrown vertically and they can be thrown horizontally. And you would have a couple of them on your person, uh, assuming that the Bongai use it in a similar way to the Azande. There's not a whole lot of information on the Bongai's variant, but the Azande carry a couple of them on their person, uh, though that's a secondary weapon because you'd usually as a primary weapon have a spear. Though I would say that you could, I mean look at this thing, you could use it as a melee weapon as well instead of just a throwing weapon. I mean that thing looks <laughs> pretty dang dangerous. Um, it was used uh, of course as a weapon in war but it could also be used in hunting and uh, apparently according to Yale's website it is uh, also a ritual object and if it's anything like the Oshele behind me on that book uh, then it could be used as a currency blade what is a currency blade a currency blade is basically what it sounds like it's money it's a uh, it's money in a badass blade form um, and the Oshele is made by the Endengezi peoples. And yeah, so that is where the Lizal Tri Boomerang comes from. Fun fact, this throwing knife can be found in two Castlevania games. In those games, they are known as a Bwaka knife. And the reason being is likely because someone at Konami must have read a book called Weapons and International Encyclopedia from 5000 BC to 2000 AD. In this book, it attributes this type of throwing knife to the Bwaka people, which of course is different from what Yale University said. Chances are, this type of throwing knife is made by both peoples, both the Bongai and the Bwaka. 
To help emphasize the sheer power of the African throwing knives, I'd like to read a passage from the Dictionary of Black African Civilizations. And yes, that is correct. I own a literal dictionary about black people. Alright. Among the Bakuba in the Kasai Sankura region, the name Shango, which was applied exclusively to the royal clan, meant four bladed throwing knives a weapon which had been banned by one of their great kings who was deeply concerned with culture and the maintenance of peace. But of course these are not just simply weapons of war. As I alluded to earlier, they do have other uses as well. The peoples who live south of Lake Chad, for example, have a number of uses for them. The men will carry them around as prestige objects to show their high status, and the women uh, and specifically, I'll give you a specific example, the Ga'anda women use them in dances. And the reason for that is because some of these knives are associated with female ancestors. Bonus fact! In the movie adaptation of the classic video game Prince of Persia, you'll see that there's actually some African throwing knives used by a character in that film. I think I may have also seen this weapon in another movie, but unfortunately I can't remember what that movie was. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed learning about this weapon and its various uses as well as its various appearances in video games. And if you enjoyed today's episode, click that subscribe button, click that like button, and click whatever the fuck else you need to click. <laughs>